Hello guys. Let's start from the beginning. First, I'm going to add a domain to my local host file. So when I type the URL, it serves the website from my local machine. Here I have my Apache server container, PHP container, open search containers, PHP my admin, MySQL and Redis containers. And here is my env file which contains docker configuration. You can download these docker containers from my GitLab. You can find the link in the description. Here I have my PHP 8.1 docker file and I'm not going to explain. I assume you already have the knowledge of the docker file. Things to consider here is the Apache configuration file. You need to add the proxy pass match with the correct PHP docker container name. I also have an Apache virtual host file so I can install two Magento stores. You need to add the second domain to your local host file. So we have our docker set up. Let's run the docker build command and after the build open the PHP container to run the bash script. If it fails with the network not found error make sure to create the docker network. Now, if I browse to my local PHP MyAdmin port, you can see I have access to PHP MyAdmin system. Let's now install Magento 2.4.6 using the PHP container. Run Composer Create Project. Next, we are going to set up the Magento configuration. Run setup install script. In your install script, make sure you add open search as your search engine and open search container name as your open search host. Before we go to the next part, appreciate if you could subscribe and give a like to my video. Now back to the video. The difference between open search and Elasticsearch is you need to use the correct parameters in your install script. Once you have done that, it will install Magento in your www folder. Make sure to turn off two-factor authentication for your development. Okay guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next video.